Welcome to A-Level Results Day 2003. This behind me, this was my school. This is where I went to school. And in 2003, on mid-August, late August, I was uh, just like you will be this week, going to school and picking up this envelope with my A-Level results in. Just say I didn't look all that different um, in my A-Level year. I'll try and pick out some photos or something for you here. The only difference was back then we were wearing boot cut jeans so they were kind of like a, a kind of mild flare and uh, I was probably wearing quite a similar t-shirt so I think I was almost always wearing kind of different shades of beige or khaki in those days. Um, this was my school, this was Bretton Woods. On the morning of the results day I was pretty chilled out. I was actually still in bed when everyone else was opening their results I'll be honest with you. I got up when my friends who had come to school got all their results had all their conversations, had all their joyous or teary moments, came back to my house to wake me up and say, come on Kit, let's go get your results. And uh, I, got, I picked them up probably just almost as they were closing the school for the results day, like half 11 or something like that. And I was the last person to pick them up. Um, so I was quite relaxed about the whole process. I know that it's a really stressful day, I know that that is, but really encourage you to think about them in a kind of, you know, do they get onto the next stage in your life? Do they get on to what you want to do next? If, you, if they don't, then is there something else that you can still be really, really happy with? If you didn't get into that university, your first offer, then you're gonna get into another university that's gonna be really, really good, a really, really good experience. All different universities have different strengths, and it's a wonderful experience to go to university. Stay tuned, so I'll be doing some advice just before Freshers' Week, you know, how to approach your university to get the most out of that. <laughs> The main entrance is just up there, the kind of cantini sports hall is just in here. English is over there, there's a swimming pool here, a swimming pool, you know that, in the school. There's a big sports hall, art design. English is over there where Aldi is now. There's a little patch of grass here where I just remember collecting my results. As you can see, it's no longer a school here. Um, this was Bretton Woods Community School, and you know, it wasn't the very greatest school in the world. Yeah, and um, since then, it's been torn down and replaced with another school, and they're building houses on the site behind me. But it was quite a happy school, it was quite a happy school, so um, it was, in my opinion, it was a good place to go to school. I think I'd encourage you to think about your schools like that, you know, are they happy places then that's probably good enough. I'm going to open these results uh, live on camera and tell you about how I felt about them that day and maybe that advice might, uh, that experience might give you some advice for your day when you pick up your results. Just remember that my A-levels were slightly different to yours because back then it was modular which meant that I could actually do resets to different um, units and it was the first time that AS and then an A2 qualification were separate but like six units in each A-level went toward the A2. There wasn't an A-star grade so if you think that um, I didn't get A-stars that wasn't an available grade. I think that that A-star grade has been made to actually help people like me really push ourselves beyond um, just that kind of normal A grade level. So here we go. Um, I remember this was a, like a sports hall behind me and there was a kind of entrance hall uh, just around the corner there and I'd gone in through these kind of double doors to that and lined up and in alphabetical order you could pick these envelopes out and then um, you pulled them out with all your friends around, wanted to know exactly how you did and to compare to themselves. So without further ado, let's see the A-level results. So let's do it. This was maths, this was an A. So I was pretty pleased with that. I did though just enough for maths. I literally got a grade A, I think, by one UMS. Okay, so really, really quite quick. Um, and this was physics, okay, and I did pretty darn well in physics and I hope that you uh, expect that. Well, my channel's Gorilla Physics and I got an A in that and I was quite a high A, actually. My next result, psychology, I got an A as well. And um, I don't think that was ever in doubt, really. And then lastly, art, and art is the one I did best at, actually. I got 526 UMS in art. Um, which I'm not sure if that would actually equate these days to a, a star, but um, anyway, it was a pretty good result for art. But again, that wasn't in doubt on the day because most of art is kind of coursework. 
I was pretty pleased with my overall results, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it comes off the back, as you'll see, um, if you watch my GCSE results day video, of being quite disappointed, really, with my GCSE results. So I really, really, really put the effort into my A-levels, and that's why I'm really pleased with that. Now, I'd encourage you, when you go down into results um, day, there's only two grades. There's only two grades to think about. There's the one you're happy with, and the one that you're not. Now, I'm happy with those grades, because they represent my best effort. I wasn't happy with my GCSEs because I felt that I could have put a little bit more effort in and done a little bit better. So that for me is the way you want to think about those results that you're going to pick up. The thing is I didn't get into Cambridge and I did apply to Cambridge and I did get an interview but I never had an offer so it wasn't like on the day I was really really um, sorry that I didn't get into Cambridge. I knew that wasn't on the cards. But I did and way before I'd even got these I got an offer from Edinburgh and I knew that was in the bag and I was so happy to go to Edinburgh and I had a wonderful time. So I don't know whether you're planning on going to university but uh, if you are then really take this advice. Whichever university you do get into, go. It's going to be an excellent university, it's going to be an excellent experience for you. I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful time. You're going to make connections, you're going to develop as a person and you're going to come out of it with an excellent qualification that's going to enable you to get onto the next step. And really with results, a large part of it is just do you or do you not get onto the next step in your life. My next steps were Art and Design Foundation. I went to a college in Wisbeach and did a year Art and Design Foundation. Absolutely loved that. But I only got a pass, it was a, a B-Tech and I could have got a pass merit or a distinction. I only got a pass and really I did the bare minimum, I'll be honest with you, in that art and design foundation. Not that I didn't do lots myself, but I didn't really do what the course was expecting me to do. Then I went to university, I went to Edinburgh and I studied architectural design and again I got a second class so I could have done better and I really, you know, I really believe I could have done better in both of those and probably they fall into the second category of results. I'm not really all that happy with because I could have done better. However, both of those things got me onto the next stage in my life and I feel like the A-levels were one of the hardest I have ever worked. Uh, they were the hardest I'd ever worked, apart from maybe in the last few years when I've really been working hard on this YouTube channel. So I really hope this YouTube channel helps you out. I hope next year, if you go to university or if you go into the world of work, that you maybe stick around because maybe some of the study skills sections, maybe some of the other kind of videos that I'm going to make might be more applicable to you, even at university, not just if you're studying GCSE or A-level physics. That drive that I had in my A-levels did really come back and it came back later in the world of work because in the world of work it's not your aptitude that matters, it's not success in exams that matters, how hard you're willing to work and really that is rewarded in the, in the world of working your career much more than it is by exams. I was very good at exams, I found them not too difficult, not too stressful um, and so I did really well in them. If you're not that type of person, then you will be rewarded by putting in effort in the world of work, and that's how you'll climb the career ladder. So I plan to be live on your A-level results day, so stop by on my live feed and uh, share your results and let me know how you did, and let me know which university you got onto, and let me know how you feel about your results as well. All right, thanks a lot for watching. This is Gorilla Physics, where we really care about you understanding your physics more, so you get more confident, you enjoy physics more, and you do better in your exams. But if you're done with your physics now, stick around, because also study skills and also different kind of creative choices are going to be a big part of this channel in this coming year. Thanks a lot for watching.